Um, so thank you for your patience and thank you for being here today. Uh, my name is Julie Barajas and I'm your ITALK staff liaison for this meeting for today. So again, thank you everyone for uh, taking the time to join us. Um, before we jump into the meeting, I'll ask our clerk to confirm that we have a quorum, Francesca or Kimberly, excuse me. Yes, we have a quorum. Thank you so much. So I'd like to remind our members and public of our process for both member and public comments. Um, the members will be using their cameras and will be taking live public comments. Members are asked to turn on their cameras when they have a comment or question, and then the chair will recognize you. As noted on the cover, uh, cover page of today's meeting agenda, in addition to me emailing comments, the public may also provide live comments during today's meeting. So in order to provide live comments, uh, you can join today's Zoom meeting through the link or by dialing one of the numbers from your phone that are provided on the cover page of today's meeting agenda. Uh, join the meeting uh, by clicking on the join webinar link provided in the confirmation email you'll receive upon registering. And when public comments are called for on an item, on the Zoom platform, click on the raised icon in the Zoom toolbar um, on the right of the screen. If you are participating, participating by telephone, you can press star nine. Uh, the chair will call on you on the last, by the last three digits of your telephone number. The instructions for providing live comments are also on the bottom of the cover page of today's meeting agenda, which can be accessed from the homepage of Sandag's website at www.sandag.org. All comments, whether emailed or live, will be made as part of today's meeting record. The first item of business on your agenda today is item number one, the selection of chair. I hear that we have Mayor Blakespear who volunteers uh, to be our chair today. So what we'll need is we will need a, a first and a second. Um, do we I'm, have that? I'm, I'm gonna be a first. Great. Second. I'm sorry, who was seconding? Uh, I recall Vasquez. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. And um, Kim, can you call the roll please? Uh, City of San Diego, absent. County of San Diego, seat A, absent. County of San Diego, seat B, absent. South County Mayor Sotelo Solis. Sotelo Solis present. Is, is that an, 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 an eye for uh, Chair Blakespear to be the chair of this committee? <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Sotelo Solis. I'll come back to her. Okay, I'll come back to her. East County, Mayor Vasquez. Aye. Aye. North County Coastal, Mayor Blakespear. Aye. And North County Inland, Mayor McNamara. Aye. Uh, back to South County. Mayor Sotelo Solis, was that an I for uh, the I, chair? I'm sorry, that is an I okay. for uh, the vote. Okay, and that motion carries. Great, thank you. So, uh, May Mayor Blixford, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you. Okay, great. Um, so we have our consent item first, item number two, which is information about the ITOC committee and its responsibilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and move approval for that. Second, Mayor Vasquez. Here, if I may, this is not an action item, it's presented for information only. So unless the committee has any questions for staff, we would be able to move on to the next exit. Okay, great. Okay, great. So we'll so move on to item number three, three which, which somebody might have. Uh, um, audio on. Okay, there, that's better. Um, which is the ITOC is asked to consider, the selection committee is asked to consider. The first thing we're doing is number two, which is reappointment of the current member in the chief executive officer category for a term of up to four years through May 2025. And then we'll go to the next item, which is a new member. We have two applicants in the construction management category. So let's, um, if it's okay with the committee, I think we should just hear from uh, Dr. Sunny Cook and not uh, ask her the four questions because there is not another um, 
applicant for that position. So we would just hear from her and then make a decision about her reappointment. Does that work for everybody? I'll yeah. give you a thumbs up. Yes, okay. Thank you. I'll, I will go ahead and uh, let her know that we're ready for her. Okay, perfect. Give me just a minute. Um, it looks, uh, Julie, it, uh, I just promoted her to panelists. So she is on and um, if she can just unmute and share her screen, that would be fantastic so that we can view. Can you hear me and see me? Yes, we can. Thank you, Ms. Howes. We're happy to see you. So we, we'll, just, we'll just give you a, a, a couple uh, or a minute or so, to, a couple minutes to just um, introduce yourself and let us know why you want to be uh, reappointed. Okay, thank you. Um, I am Sunny House. I'm owner of Sunny House Strategies and the current vice chair of the SANDAC uh, ITOC committee. I also serve on the 2021 tri Triennial Audit Committee and the 2018 Triennial Audit Subcommittee that was formed per my suggestion to oversee the completion of that audit recommendation. I joined ITALK last May to fill the midterm position for CEO, but I am requesting to renew my application and continue to serve on the ITALK. Uh, I'm a licensed civil engineer and have been working for, in the transportation industry for 37 years. I started my career with Caltrans and uh, that's where I learned the positive impact that I have as a transportation professional in uh, making the lives of com communities better. And after six years, I moved to the private sector. I've worked on some really iconic projects and that's also uh, for large global companies like URS and AECOM. And that's where I also uh, gained a lot of valuable experience in how to be an effective manager and how to be a successful leader managing and growing operations in Southern California. Uh, two years ago, I started my own business as a small disadvantaged business to help other businesses grow and uh, manage their operations better and to, to succeed. So I consult and advise boards and uh, C-suite executives and help them in their strategic planning process. Um, I chose to serve on ITOF because I wanted to continue to give back to the community and to the transportation business and oversee the delivery of the promise that has been made to the taxpayers to improve their mobility and quality of life through the Transnet program. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your service. Does anybody on the committee have a question? Okay, well, um, I think we will, um, we'll, we'll almost certainly be reappointing you, but I don't know if you're allowed to stay on the call while we do that. So we thank, we thank you so much. And I think the staff will be in touch. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. OK, I'm going to move approval of her uh, reappointment. A second. second. Kim, can you call the roll? City of San Diego is absent. County of San Diego, seat A, absent. County of San Diego, seat B, absent. South County, Mayor Sotelo Solis. Sotelo Solis, aye. East County, Mayor Vasquez. Mayor Vasquez, aye. North County Coastal, Mayor Bla Blakespear. Aye. And North County Inland, Mayor McNamara. Aye. aye. And that motion passes. Okay, great. Congratulations to her. Um, now let's go on to our second item. Does that uh, work? So Pedro Orso Delgado is on the line. Okay. Pedro, if you could turn on your screen, please. Uh, he was just promoted to panelists, so he should be on in a minute. So we do have four questions. Um, I don't know if anybody has them in front of them. Let me look. 
Do you have it, Paul? Okay. Do you want to ask the first question, Paul? Sure. Julie, I don't know that I can that you can see me. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, let's see. I can definitely hear you. Ah, looking for you. Second. I'm starting the video. There we go. Oh, good. There you are. I'm sorry okay. about that. Uh, Pedro, this is uh, Paul McNamara. Uh, we have some, several questions. Uh, before we begin, I just want to say thank you for volunteering for this position. We very much uh, pr appreciate your community service and willingness to serve the community. Uh, with that, um, question one is, how did you hear about the position and why are you interested in serving as a member of the ITOC? First and foremost, uh, good afternoon and thank you to all of you and you know, for allowing me this opportunity. How did I hear about it? Um, I was talking to the executive director of um, Circulate, which I serve as a board member, Colin Parent, which he's also a council member uh, in La Mesa. And he says, hey, there's this opening at ITOC, would you be interested? And I said, heck yeah, I would be very interested because in, in my mind, you know, I really didn't want it to sit on the sidelines and see, you know, this new vision, the bold five moves happening and not being able to participate in one way or another. So from my point of view, that's why I'm interested. You know, I, I want to be part of it and hopefully I can um, help in some way. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you, Mayor. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And um, it's great that you heard about it through Colin and, and we think, I think Circulate's a great organization. Um, so what professional skills and abilities would you bring to the committee and how would these benefit the IOC? Okay. So, I mean, obviously uh, I have um, 37 years of experience and, you know, you could say, oh, that's it. That's the experience that qualifies you. No, not really. I, I mean, I served as the district director at Caltrans, so I'm capable and, and able to manage large projects and organizations and know how to do that. Um, I've also, after I left Caltrans, I went to work for the city of Santee, and I left the city of Santee uh, about eight years ago now, um, having served as the deputy city manager, director of development services, as well as the um, interim and acting and city manager. Um, and that gave me another perspective of looking at the results of what the mega projects and the infrastructure does in a local economy and how it affects, you know, at, at that micro level. But after I left the city of Santee, I started my own company. So now I'm looking at it as a private entity, looking at how this impacts my clients and what it's doing. And then lastly, but not, not, not um, least, I have traveled uh, over the last eight years all over the world. And if you can see the, the screen saver in, in my screen, that's from Amsterdam. And it's a beautiful city. It has an integrated system of transportation, bikes, um, everything. It has multimodal hubs like we're looking at at the airport. It, it has all of that. And it's an example of, well, why couldn't something like this work in San Diego? Um, I spent some time in Medellin, Colombia, and in Colombia, they have a metro, a bus rapid transit system. They have aerial trams as people movers. They have electric chair, electric uh, stairs that they also use to move. So it gives me that broad opportunity to not only see what we have in this region, but bring something from the outside. So I think that's why I have that experience that could be very helpful here. I would like to ask a question. To, um, I'd like to know, what do you hope to accomplish by your participation on the ITOC? 
Good question. Um, and I've been thinking about it. And I go, am I being a little bit crazy wanting to do this and 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 spend the time? But no. I, I mean, one, I already mentioned it. I, I want to participate actively in the development of the big five moves. That's one key. The other element is that the vision is there. Now we have to put together a funding plan, some sort of an implementation plan as well, and, and build all of those items into the big five moves. And how is it going to be financed? Another thing that I see currently, Sandag as a region does a really good job at looking at each one of the jobs from a specific point of view. How is it doing? How is it going and stuff like that. But sometimes I think we need to do a little bit better job of connecting all of the projects, some of the risks associated with those projects and rolling that out into the program and seeing how that is going to affect the implementation of the plan. So, so I think those are some of the areas where I could help and, and accomplish while here. So, you know, thank you for the question, Mayor. And You're welcome. I've got, thank you, uh, Mayor Vasquez. And I've got the next question there, Senor Orso. And it's regarding uh, time commitment. So how does the time commitment required of the position fit in with your availability? Well, I, as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm, I'm semi-retired. So I have a one person company, that's me. Um, I can do the work from anywhere as long as I have a telephone, a computer and internet connection. So, so that's good. Um, everything else that I do, I tend to pick what I wanna do. I, I, I'm, I'm really blessed with that opportunity at this period in my life that if I wanna do this, I have the time commitment to be able to do it. Um, so, so yes, I'm all in should you choose me. Thank you, uh, Pedro, I really appreciate that. And it looks like uh, right now you're, are you in London? Cause I see your background. I, I don't know where this, where this, but your background is from, but uh, it looks like you, like you said, you can travel anywhere. Uh, yes, no, I'm not. The background <laughs> is a, a photo that I took from Amsterdam, Mayor. Oh, Amsterdam, see, you're, yes. you're in Amsterdam. You can, you can really apply everything that you, you're, you're seeing over there. <laughs> That's right. All right. Or that's All right. Thank you so much, Pedro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice seeing you, Mayor. Well, thank you very much for, for applying for this position, Pedro. And we will um, let you know um, the outcome. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I really look forward to hearing from you all. And hopefully you end up deciding that, that you like me uh, because I would really enjoy doing this. Okay, good. We appreciate it. Thank you. That. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank Let's you. Go. I have uh, reached out to the next applicant. So I think we're just going to be waiting a second here. Okay. Should we just do the same thing? Paul, you start and we'll go around. Yeah. Okay. And again, my apologies, crew, for chiming in late. We're literally in the process of the removal of the encampment. We can have a whole nother conversation, but it's uh, they've already taken five uh, big dumpsters uh, out of, uh, of trash and it's been an intense morning so far. So where are you uh, specifically? Uh, specifically, we're on the 16th street and 805 uh, overpass um, mm -hmm. by the 805 freeway. Um, in Plaza in uh, National City. So, so you're, uh, you're on like a, like a bridge. You're not in an, uh, like a ravine. Oh, well, well so the, the fence is cut and then there, the encampment is inside and on, um, oh yeah, on a hillside and you take 10 steps over and it's the side of the freeway and you can, you topple over, you're in the 805 freeway. Uh-huh, terrible. So, yeah, I just, I'm really glad that we have the, the conversations about the uh, litter abatement, um, but I think we're, we're ready to take it to the next level, uh, I think, um, regarding these issues. So 
I don't know if the next app, I can't see if the applicant is here, but take any more time, but I, I just wanted to, again, share my, uh, my apologies to, to my colleagues. Our, our, your time is precious. And um, I just want to let you know why, why I was late. Yeah, he is not on just yet. We are uh, calling and we did send him a note. So um, if we can just hold tight for another sec, we should get him on board pretty soon. Thank you. Thank you. So Mayor Sotelis Lise, is the encampment removal being run by Caltrans or is it your city or how is that, who's organizing that? But this is Caltrans. This is the Caltrans push. Um, there was a fire, I wanna say this past week end um almost about a week ago uh, and basically it helped to pull the trigger for all of these um the encampments here um in this little corridor there are about three um and they're all flanking the freeways and they because of the pause um you know with the cleanups um yeah it's just yeah it's just really become more of a nuisance and the fire helps nobody. Um, and are you, are you offering the people a hotel voucher or what's the? So that was my first question. Like we can't, you know, like the balloon, we can't just squeeze it in one area and then it bubbles out, you know, in another. So what do we do? So uh, we had the county out here. Uh, we had um, RPD. Um, we had uh, McAllister family, Alpha Project. Um, so they did offer them vouchers. They enrolled them into CalFresh and other county services. Um, they offered them, you know, um, employment information. And um, there was about nine, a crew of nine here Tuesday morning. And they were also here um, this morning uh, from about seven o'clock um, providing those resources. And, and again, it's, we can't talk band-aids anymore. Like this is, when we say housing, yes, it's temporary, it's transitional, but it's also too long-term. Like how do, if we really want to address uh, homelessness and you know the unsheltered we have to do with compassion but we also in our communities like the working class community of national city you know this isn't uh, synonymous to our community it's happening everywhere but when it's off the side of the freeway you know more more eyes are on it and the pandemic as well also <laughs> provided more eyes so it's just we, we 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 can't allow this to happen anymore you know not that and again not that we were giving permission but the pandemic our hands are tied because it's Caltrans property. We can't do anything. So. I just contacted uh, Mr. Saumier and he said he was logging in. He's on the job site. He had a an incident or I don't know, something, some, something that came up on the job site. So he's going to be logging in from the job site. I do see Mr. Salmier, and so uh, Mr. Salmier, if you would please turn on your camera, if possible, and your audio so that the members of the selection committee can uh, see and hear you. Mr. Salmier, uh, we do not see, there you are. And then I think you are muted. So if you may, uh, if you could please uh, unmute yourself. Fantastic. How's that? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Great, great. 
Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Sommier. This is uh, Paul McNamara. I'm the mayor of Escondido. Um, first, I just want to say on behalf of the committee, thank you for volunteering uh, for this position and for your community service. With that, I'll start with our first question. Um, how did you hear about the position and why are you interested in serving as a member of the ITOC? I heard about the position uh, because I was interested in getting involved with uh, Transnet and Sandag. Uh, I've, uh, Jack Hobbs of Penn Hall Company used to be on the board uh, previously and he's always talked highly of it and it's been a while since he's been there but um, I've worked uh, as a public servant for 13 years with the County of San Diego and uh, right now and I've worked uh, on the contractor's side for uh, 20, 24 years and another 14 years um, for the owner. So I've, I've prepared lots of estimates. I've, uh, I know what it takes to pass an audit. Um, we're uh, certified as a um, ISO 9000 uh, one certification. So uh, I know all types of different size projects. The projects that you're doing is uh, or performing uh, with rail, uh, with bridges, roadways, uh, could be underground uh, pipelines. I've done it all. And uh, I know uh, what it takes to pass an audit because I've been through several federal audits in the past um, with uh, housing and community development. Uh, when I perform some work for them, but uh, I, I thought it was good. It would be good to give back, and uh, I wanted to get involved uh, with uh, with uh, Transnet and and give back to the community. And I thought that my experience would be a good fit. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, yes, if, if you wanted to talk just a little bit more about professional skills and abilities that you would bring to the committee and how would these benefit the ITOC? Well, uh, like I started out saying, I have 24 years I worked for the contractor in dredging, uh, traveling around the United States, uh, dredging docks. I also have uh, experience with estimating, starting with there and then uh, went ahead and uh, worked for the County of San Diego for uh, 13 years. Uh, I understand government and I understand the sensitivity and I understand um, what it takes to get a job done as a construction manager. Um, so I, that's, I've been a construction manager for 38 years. So um, sounds like a long time. <laughs> it is a long time, <laughs> but uh, Anyway, uh, I know the numbers. Uh, I, I've been on both sides. I, I, I know what it takes to pass an audit. I have the experience, like I was saying, in, in all types of construction, even buildings. So uh, from rail to highway to underground to buildings, um, there isn't much I haven't done, uh, but you know, that's one thing. The other part is I know that uh, there has to be backup paperwork to support an audit. I, I, I always tell my uh, contractor or as an owner rep, you have to have backup to, uh, for record keeping. So um, I'm used to that. And uh, if it doesn't have backup, it doesn't, it's not going to pass an audit. So uh, I know the numbers also, and I've been on the contractor side. So I know, um, you know, I'm not there to uh, pick apart a contractor or anything, but um, I've seen all kinds of things. I'll just leave it at that. So I, I know what to look for. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Excuse me. So uh, yeah, I've, I've seen both sides. I, I know the tricks of the trade and uh, um, I, I can call it out if I see it. Okay, thank you so much, William. 
Uh, wonderful, uh, Mayor Paul Vasquez here. And so I'd like to know, if, what would you like to accomplish um, by your participation on the ITOC? What would I like to accomplish? Yes. Well, first of all, I'd like to um, uh, accomplish the immediate need, and that is uh, for the construction projects that are taking place any uh, auditing that you would have uh, in regards to the pricing or the projects as far as uh, the work, scope of work, the uh, pricing that you might have. Um, if you receive federal funding, I've gone through federal funding audits. Um, I'm very well uh, familiar with grant um, requirements. So if you received any grants and you have to comply with those grants, um, I've had uh, you know, multiple grants on uh, one project down in the Otai River Valley for uh, Supervisor Cox that's now retired, but, uh, um, and I've had multiple grants with the supervisor, uh, Diane Jacob, uh, when she was here. Um, I did a lot of work for them. Uh, so I, I know what, I know to ask questions. I know um, if something's not clear, you pick up the phone and you ask the question. Um, you know, you, know, you have to give people the benefit of the doubt also, um, you know, get your facts and get your information uh, before, uh, you know, sending in something that might be uh, disruptive. So I like to have facts. I like to uh, dig deeper and um, I'm very um, detailed. That can be a good thing and a bad thing, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, thank you so very much. I've got the next question. And the next question is, how uh, does the time commitment required of the position fit, it with, fit in with your availability? Well, um, that's a good question. I, uh, that was a question I was going to have is what type of time frames do you have? And uh, I know there's a lot, several, uh, lots of millions of dollars worth of work out there that, um, that uh, will be per being performed. And I know that the, uh, uh, I've, I've estimated million dollar projects before. So uh, I think that, uh, you know, um, my dedication to you is uh, in my, the way I work is it's, I don't wear a watch because um, I, I, my, my mindset is you do what it takes to get the job done. Sometimes it might be slow, other times you might have to um, work a weekend or, you know, uh, or work late. So can you tell me a little bit about the timeframes? <laughs> well, maybe there's um, a Amber could speak to that or Ariana. Um, I could try and uh, hi, this is Julie. I could try and um, address that we do have monthly meetings. Uh, they are uh, about an hour and a half. Uh, they occur the second Wednesday of every month. Uh, in addition to that, we have um, sometimes large uh, agenda packets that we send out a week in advance. So we do ask that the members make the time to read through those. Um, and then you're able to um, able to work through the meetings um, and understand the information that might be presented. So there's a time commitment there with reading the material. Um, in addition to that, uh, we do ask uh, for volunteers from the ITOC committee to serve on several of our subcommittees that we have. Um, so that um, may be a, a one or two meetings a month for maybe four months to a year. It could just depending on the subject matter. Mm -hmm. So I hope that kind of gives you some sort of, um, you know, uh, inkling of, of the time commitment that we're looking for. I don't see a problem with that. Um, 
I'm always in, uh, like I said, I'm, I was interested in getting involved with Transnet. And I think it's wonderful, uh, the, the tax that we have here and the, the funding is going to some wonderful projects. Um, and I, I, like I said, I've, I've performed these projects in the past and I, I think that I, I would be a benefit to the team uh, by having that experience. And uh, I'm willing to dig in and like I said, do what it takes to get the job done. And I'm a team player also. So yeah, I know I'll be working with others. So that, that, that won't be a problem. Okay, well, thank you so much, William. We really appreciate your willingness to step forward and your public service, and we will be in touch. All right, so thank, thank you. you very much, everyone. Have a good day. Bye -bye. Okay, thank you. And I just wanted to ask, um, Julie or um, Sandag staff about, should the applicants, um, any of them, um, Ms. Howes or any of them? Oh boy, you cut out. Didn't hear the last part of her question either. There she is. Mayor, you cut out, could you repeat? Um, I was just wanted to follow up on whether the applicants is it should they be on the call now so we still see we still have uh, we've already voted on this sunny house but I don't know if she's ne needs to be on the call or is it okay if she's on the call or uh, it's a public meeting so it definitely um, she can be on the call we have requested that the that the candidates okay. log off um, however it is a public meeting I see. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so any discussion of the two candidates? I, this is Mayor Sotelo Solis. I think both candidates were great. Um, I, I think both uh, showed uh, both a wealth of knowledge and, um, you know, that desire to serve. Um, I, I, I think uh, both would be excellent on the ITOC. Um, I think uh, for me, I'd like to, because we're only looking for one, one, one person to appoint at this point in time, correct? Right, between the two gentlemen. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So I would like to move forward with uh, and, and make a motion to uh, approve Mr. Pedro Orso. Uh, I'll, I'll second that motion. Uh, I thought that. Uh, I loved uh, the fact that Pedro had some cross-pollination with some of the, his travels and also his time availability. I think uh, while, the, he, while both are qualified, I think that gives him a, 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 a slight edge uh, in, the, uh, in the process. Okay, sounds great. Mayor Vasquez, did you wanna say anything or should we go ahead and vote? Um, I uh, think that uh, both of the applicants bring a wealth of experience um, to the front that could benefit um, in the benefit SANDAG, um, especially with their service on this particular committee. Um, I mean, when, when I look at the two, um, the one thing that stands out is that with Pedro, he has a time, um, but not just the time, he has a wealth of experience and um, that he um, came across as a visionary in, in supporting the direction, direction that Sandag um, is trying to go. Uh, so uh, at this point, I would be in support of Pedro um, Delgado, I hope I said it right, um, uh, with the appointment of him to the committee. Okay, great, let's go ahead and vote. So, Mayor, I'm sorry, Chair, um, I just wanted to remind that before you do make a motion that uh, we need to check for public comments. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Do we have public comments? Sorry. <laughs> no, no public comments. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Okay. Um, City of San Diego is absent. County of San Diego, seat A absent. County of San Diego, seat B, absent. 
South County, Mayor Sotelo Solis. Sotelo Solis, aye. aye. East County, Mayor Vasquez. Mayor Vasquez, aye. aye. North County Coastal, Mayor Blaisbeer. Aye. aye. And North County Inland, Mayor McNamara. Aye. aye. The motion passes. Okay. Thank you again to both of them. Both very well qualified. And with that, we are adjourned.